Hi, my name is Alex, and in this video, I will walk through on how to process fixed assets in Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're going to walk through on how to create a new fixed asset, how to enter the initial book value for this fixed asset, and lastly, we're going to go through how to calculate and post your depreciation entries for this fixed asset. Before you start using fixed assets, it's assumed that your Business Central partner has gone in and set up all the fixed asset posting groups and set up the depreciation books for you. We're also going to assume that the acquisition is going to be done through the fixed asset journal, not through the purchase order. Because typically when companies buy fixed assets, they don't know at the time whether or not the item is going to be a fixed asset. So usually people buy it in their default expense account, then they reclass it to their fixed asset GL accounts. So assuming that you made a purchase and you guys have determined that it is a fixed asset, from the fixed asset screen, I'm going to click on new and give it a description. I'm only going to focus on the fields that you will need to pay special attention to. On the depreciation book, you are going to click on the show more and I need to define my posting group, my fixed asset posting group. And so I'm going to choose this as an equipment. Now the depreciation starting date would be the date you would like to start your depreciation. Now, typically this is the, uh, the same date as your acquisition date. So I'm going to put in March 1st. Then you put in your number of depreciation years. So that is all I need to enter. The next thing I am going to do is I am going to enter my initial book value for this particular fixed asset. To do that, I am going to go to the fixed asset journal. So there are two different journals. One is a fixed asset journal. The other one is fixed asset general journal uh, because we have the acquisition costs defaulted uh, to not integrate with the, with the general ledger. I'm going to use the fixed asset journal from here on my fixed asset posting date. I need to define my, the fixed asset is going to be going into the system, enter my fixed asset. So in this case, it's going to be my new fixed asset and enter my amount. So I bought this for $5,000. After I enter my line, I'm going to click on post. Now, if I go back to my fixed asset and look at my value, you'll see my initial book values here. To run the depreciation, you will need to run the calculate depreciation process. So when I click on this process, there are a few values that comes up. The posting date would be the date of your depreciation entry. So in this case, I'm going to run it as of March 31st. Uh, give it a document number for your fixed asset journal. I'm going to leave the posting description blank. Typically, you would run it for all of your fixed assets. But in this case, I'm going to filter on the specific fixed assets that were just created. I'm going to click OK. Once it's done calculating, you'll see this journal. Click on Yes. And this will give you the fixed asset entry in the fixed asset general ledger journal. So this is different than fixed asset journal because when you run your fixed asset, it is going to automatically post the depreciation entries into your general ledger. So this is the entries that it created. So you see that it credited your fixed asset and it debited your fixed asset uh, depreciation account. From here, I just need to click on post and post. And that completes the process.